So I want to talk about my experience as a piano player and some things that I've learned and I'm still learning. Um, I play at a church, First Christian. I'm the organist and the accompanist. And this means that every Sunday I am usually handed new music and I'm given maybe a week or two weeks to learn it. Sometimes it's very difficult. Sometimes the people I'm working with are very good. And in this case, the person I was working with was really good. Uh, she was a soprano, um, has been around fairly well known, and uh, she just happens to like this church and works with us. And uh, she, I was given a piece, and I worked really hard on it because I wanted to do a really good job. And I've messed up music many, many times in the past, so I knew what I had to do to get ready. Uh, I did my tricks, the same things I teach my students. Uh, three times in a row, get it correct, and then you know you're going to be okay in the performance. And there were a lot of spots that I had to get ready. And I did it. I was ready to go. Um, and so we come down to the performance. We rehearse it. Everything seems to be okay. And uh, then we get going. She gives me the nod, and I mess up the intro. Not, not so horrible that, uh, you know, everybody noticed, but, uh, you know, I'm sure the the soprano noticed, and I certainly noticed, and I was kicking myself. Oh my God, I worked so hard at this. I was ready to go. And I, I had to think about why, what happened that kicked me out of that spot, that took me away from what I needed to do to play that opening perfectly. Because the most important thing is the, the opening, then the second most important thing is the ending. Or maybe the, I've got those backwards, but the ending and the opening are the most important parts. Uh, after some contemplation, it occurred to me that what happened was that I had not rehearsed in my head the moment she was going to nod at me. Uh, that was an important piece that I was missing. Uh, I should have visualized and even practiced getting the nod and starting because that was the thing I wasn't ready to do. Playing the piece, I played it really well. The performance went well. It was just that opening because I hadn't prepared to start. Now, there's a second part to this story. Uh, I played with another great singer just a couple of weeks ago, and I took this wisdom of mine, and I tried to apply it. So this time, <laughs> I actually worked on imagining getting the nod. And once again, it was a difficult arrangement with a difficult beginning. Uh, and I was ready. This is a piece I'd actually played before, so I knew how to play it. And uh, in a, in a, I wasn't actually all that scared. I mean, I was concerned that I wasn't going to do it well, but I felt like I had it down. And to, just to be safe, I actually practiced it faster than I thought I was going to need to play it. And this is uh, something I like to do if I, I've been caught. <laughs> there was another situation where I performed, and I didn't practice. I practiced it at tempo, and then the singer wanted to do it faster than tempo, and I got caught. And that was a disaster. I made it through the performance without a train wreck, but it was ugly. It did not sound good. I did not sound like I knew what I was doing because I hadn't prepared it at the faster speed. It wasn't my fault. However, you know, if you want to be... <laughs> top of your game and you want to know you're covered, you have to do these things. Prepare them faster. Well, that's what I did for this one. I said, I'm not getting caught with my pants down this time. I am going to practice this thing faster. So I did. I practiced it faster and I prepared it at the faster tempo. And lo and behold, when the singer got together with me, what did he want? He wanted it slower. So we rehearsed it slower. And I said, hey, great. No problem. I got this because I can play it faster. Well, we get to the performance, and sure enough, I train wreck. I actually blew it. I started to play the intro, and I fell apart. And I had to laugh and just say, I'm going to start this over again. And then I started it, and I did fine. But once again, I got caught. I'm like, how is this happening to me? When I did everything right, I was prepared. And the answer in this situation was I practiced it faster, but I didn't practice it at tempo. I actually had taught myself to play at the wrong speed, and I couldn't slow it down in the heat of the moment. I thought if I practice it faster, when it's time to play it slower, it should be no trouble, but that's the deal. Um, you revert to your training in times of stress. You fall back on your training. And so I, I'm still not good enough that I can just, at least with a piece of classical music, change tempo on the spur of the moment, not with something that hard. I needed to practice it at tempo and faster. 
I needed to be ready for both possibilities. Uh, and I just wasn't. And it's fine, you know, it's, there's nothing wrong with having a train wreck and everybody laughing at you and it being okay, which is what happened. Uh, but it's not what I wanted, of course. Uh, the singer was very nice about it. And in the end, we had a great performance. But uh, when you're training to learn something, if you don't want your fear to get the better of you, if you don't want to fall apart, you really have to take in every moment that's vulnerable for you. And that's not just the pieces, parts of the pieces that are vulnerable. That's the opening. That's the ending. That's that nod. It's the possibility that they could go faster or that they could go slower. And this may take priority over parts of the piece that you'd like to get perfect because, of course, the beginning and the ending are the most important part. So that was the big lesson I learned in this situation. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this particular episode of Away With Our Fears. I hope you got something out of it. You can check out the blog version of this on my website at acol.net. Please join us at our Facebook group, Away With Our Fears. Stay calm, and I'll see you next time.